Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Odoo WooCommerce Connector by Emipro. In this video, I'll show you how to add payment gateway and configure financial status in Odoo. First thing that we will do is add payment gateway and for that we will go to WooCommerce. Scroll down and here you'll see payment and payment gateway under that. So click on that and right now as you can see we do not have added any payment gateway. No WooCommerce payment method details are available right now. So we will create a new one. Three fields are required to be filled up. The first one here is instance which is very obvious. For which particular instance you want to add payment gateway right now I just have one so I'll select that. Now payment code this is very important. The payment code that you enter here should match the gateway ID of your WooCommerce checkout settings. How do you find that? I'll show you. Go to your WooCommerce dashboard. Go to WooCommerce settings. Here you will see various tabs In those tabs click on checkout and scroll down. So here you will be able to see various payment gateways with their gateway IDs. You'll find all the gateway ID over here and this gateway ID should match the gateway ID over here. So right now I'll configure for cash on delivery. The gateway ID is COD. So I'll enter that over here COD. Payment method is the name. You can keep it whatever you want. But I'll keep it same. That is cash on delivery and save. So I've just added one payment gateway over here. I can add more. I'll just show you that. I want to add PayPal as well. So I'll do that. The code is PayPal. The method. And the instance. UK. So currently I have added two payment gateways that is cash on delivery and PayPal. After adding the payment gateway, the next thing that we need to do is configure financial status. To do that, go to configuration and under that financial status. Right now we do not have any financial status configured. Observe that we have four columns over here, instance, auto workflow, payment gateway and financial status. Uh, you already know what instance is. Uh, we discussed auto workflow settings in the previous video. So right now I have two workflow settings that is workflow one and workflow two. For workflow one I have kept it till validate order and for workflow two I have kept it till register payment. So I can uh, choose which workflow over here. Next is the payment gateway that we just added and after that the financial status. So we'll just create a new entry over here. Click on create. Select the instance. We just have one UK workflow settings. Say I want to keep workflow setting one in which only the order is validated. The payment method I'll select cash on delivery. The finances have been paid or the finances have not been paid. So when I select the payment method as cash on delivery, I would want to keep the finances have not been paid. And I'll click on save. I'll create another entry, select the instance. For this, I'll select workflow 2 and payment gateway as PayPal. And I'll keep the finances have been paid. Now, what is this going to do? When I import orders, it will check these settings and it will try to match these settings with the orders being imported and it will only import orders which matches this particular setting. So when a customer has chosen PayPal as the payment method, their finances have been paid. Workflow settings too will come into implementation. Their payment will be automatically registered in Odoo. Whereas if a customer chooses cash on delivery as the payment method, their finances have not been paid. Workflow settings one will come into implementation and only a sales order will be created. So I'll click on save and I have my financial statuses configured. After doing all these steps correctly, you will have properly set up your Odoo WooCommerce connector 
and now you can start performing all the import export operations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope the video was helpful. ME Pro specializes in providing customization, consultancy and support for any and all services related to Odoo. So feel free to contact us on www.meprotechnologies.com.